Smiles to everyone. Welcome to the new topic of mathematics, data handling. So, before understanding about the data handling, first of all, we need to understand what is the data. So, start with the data. A data is a collection of numbers gathered to give some information. Or in other word, we can say that any raw information which we collect to know about it or to compare it uh, from some certain things is called data. This information is in the form of facts and figure and is collected for some specific purpose. Now come to data handling. We need to collect, organize and represent the data in such a way or in such a form that we can draw uh, some inferences from it and this is called data handling. Collecting data or recording data. Collection of data depends upon the further requirement of the data. Before collecting any data, we must know that what will be the use of the data and what is the purpose of data. data. We have understood all the definitions very well. Now let's take an example for better understanding about data handling. Suppose a class is going for a picnic and teacher asks all the students about their preferences of fruit so that they can have an information that how many fruit of each type they have to take with us. So this is the information gathered by him. So first of all we need to know that what was the purpose of collecting the information. Our purpose was we wanted to know that how many fruit of each type we have to take. So that means the name of the student are here irrelevant. So we can represent our this information in this form. So from this information we can easily uh, inference that how many fruit of each type we have to take with us. We can also represent this information in the tabular form with the help of telema. Representative value. There must be a particular value which represents the complete data. This is the average of the data. The average lies between the smallest and the largest number of the data. So it is called central tendency of the group of the data. There are three types of central tendency of the data. Arithmetic mean, mode and median. Arithmetic mean. The mean is the average of the number of the observation. To calculate mean, we have to divide the sum of the values of the observation by the total number of observation. What is the meaning of observation? All the number which we use as a information are called observation. Mode. For a different type of requirement, different central tendencies are used. Mode tells us the number of observation which occurs more frequently. The observation which occur most of the time is called mode of that group. For example, a group of 10 uh, friends went to an ice cream parlor where 3 asked for vanilla flavor, 2 asked for strawberry flavor and 5 asked for chocolate flavor. So in this case, uh, we can observe that what is the most preferred flavor that is chocolate flavor. So how many students asked for? Five. So that means in this situation, the mode of that group is 5. Median. The middle value of the given number of the observation which divides it into exactly two parts is called median. To find the median, we have to arrange the data in ascending or descending order. Then find the middle value of the given number of the observation. That is the median of that group. If we have even number of observation then we will use different formula and if we have uh, odd number of observation then we use different formula. So I hope you have understood what is the data handling and what is the representative value of the group. See you in next video till then stay safe, stay happy, be inquisitive, miles to go.